and welcome to Scott Tittle's Home Shop. Yes, I am Scott. And I am Tira. And we hope you enjoy the following video, so stay tuned. Hello everybody. Welcome to Scott Tindall's Home Shop. I'm Scott. And Tira is over at a friend's house. And I am repairing some bulb sockets in the truck. I had a problem with the lights so I'm taking out the old sockets. I've done check the harness all the way from one end to the other. I can't find anything that would alert anybody to hey I'm damaged. That's the wife cutting grass in the background. I'm just trying to get this opened up. I'm going to show y'all how to put these things on. I just want to open it up so that I can see whether or not the wires are damaged. Because it's been blowing fuses. It just randomly blows fuses. And then it might go six months before it does it again. And then it might do it back to back. And then it might go four and a half months before it does it again. There's no rhyme or reason to it. I check the wires. I can't find any breaks. Can't find any splits, tears, anything of that nature. So what I'm doing is just going back into this harness and making sure see all the wires are nice and clean and there's no rub marks I can't move the camera right this second but just up in the bed there's no rub marks there's no rubbing where the wire has been pinched or rubbing on anything so we're going to change out the sockets regardless we're going to change them out and so let's get to it we're going to cut this about right here that goes up there let's go ahead and take this light off of there Yes. Now I can pull this up and see where that little plastic plug is supposed to go. About right there. I'm going to cut it. That'd be good right here. It'll work. Alright, now we open this up just a little bit more. going to do a line splice that we're going to strip off about X amount off of each one. Now what I have to do is the new plug or the new socket rather comes with uh, just all black wires. So one of them's correct. All right, so we'll take the meter and we'll ring it out. First thing I want to find is the ground. So that's more than likely going to be black. I don't know what that was that popped in the... Oh, yes, I do. Yes. All right, so black is the ground. They're all black, but what I'm saying is... So 
see they're all black now I just got to find out which one of these so we're going to take our meter lead and we're going to push it in behind the ground now I can see which one of these all right so just one at a time that's the ground Now we're going to take a blue solder sleeve and we're going to take a piece of red heat shrink just because it's the same, it's the size. I should have made it all one color, so that'll go on there first. This slides on there like that. Let me turn you around here where you can see what I'm doing. So this slides on like that. Now, I'm gonna take this wire about midway and hold it at about a 90. And then we're just going to twist the same amount. Really tight. <clears throat> see? Just like that. Now, I'm gonna slide this and put that solder slug right in the middle right there in the middle let me get y'all down here where y'all can see a little better let me see if you if the camera was set up up there and of course not now right, there we go that might work now we light the torch. Oop, almost had it in the wrong spot. There we go. Come on, get right. All right, now the solder's in there. Now we'll slide that up over it. That's it. Now, we're gonna go over here and we're gonna see if you pull the back off of these, it's really easy to see them. You just pull it back off. If you pull the wires out, if you pull the wires out they don't make a turn but you can see yeah so this wire the red wire is the bottom and the orange wire is the top so red is bottom orange is top so now we're going to go in here meter still on over there we're going to go right here and I'm going to hold it on the top. All right. Red is aren't red is. All right, hold on. This is the top. Red is bar bottom, orange is top. Make sure. 
Yes. Yes, red is red is the bottom to the one I just cut the top. I will make sure. Yep. So orange is the top. So same thing. Put on the heat shrink. And these little things, you can find them on the internet. That's what they are. So we're going to take a blue one. Now it goes on. Same thing right here. We're going to take this and we're going to go right beside the other. That's it. I've never had one pull apart yet. Not when you solder it. So you're gonna put that right there in that, right in the middle. And I like to, you know, just hold one, shrink one side down so it doesn't move. solder just went out and now I'll continue on and shrink it down over here <clears throat> and I'll do the last one I wanted factory parts couldn't find them so I just decided to just go with BWD, which in a lot of cases, BWD, according to Eric O on South Main Auto YouTube channel, uh, means broke when delivered. And I've gotten some sensors and stuff from them before that were broke as soon as I got them. Slide that up there. Light the torch. Come on. There you go. Now we'll stick the bulb back in. This one goes in the top. And this is the backup light. Let's wipe it off. Yeah, if it still works. And we'll stick this little wire keeper back up here. Bam, right there. Get 
stripped up. Doesn't come out. Ah, that one's not. Just a little plastic plug that's been in there for 30 years. I'll replace them. I'll order some new ones and when I get the new lenses. Well, she's all in. Mm -hmm.